I'm Ali. Today is the Chinese Flower Festival, also known as the Birth of the Flowers. It's usually celebrated on February 12th or 15th on the lunar calendar. So on this day, people usually go out together and admire flowers in the wild. But there is not many flowers around in the New York area yet. So I'm going to bring you guys to the annual Macy's Flower Show later. But first, let's take a look at the Hanfu outfit I'm wearing today. It's called Ao Chun most commonly worn during the Ming Dynasty. Let's take a look at the different pieces and how to wear them. The word Ao Chun translates into lined top and skirt. It is one of the earliest and most basic forms of Hanfu. The style was developed as early as the Warring States period, as seen on these clay figurines, and it evolves throughout the dynasties. By the mid to late Ming Dynasty, it had become the most commonly seen design for fall-winter clothing among wealthy families and the royal court. There are also many historical relics available for us to study. Aochun is an outerwear, so people usually wear inner garments made of cotton or linen material underneath. During the Ming Dynasty, women usually wore mamian skirts or pleated skirts. This one is a one-piece half-pleated skirt with the pleats only on top and embroideries on the bottom, as well as on the belt. There are usually two types of one-piece skirts. One style you insert a belt through a hole in the middle, the other style uses an extra set of ties. The skirt doesn't have either feature, so after wrapping it around the body, you can fold one end down along the waistline and then secure it with the belt. Ao is defined as a top with lining. The length and collar styles have different variations. This is a typical cross-colored Ao. It has an additional white skinny strip of collar piece called Hu Lin, meaning collar protector. Ming Dynasty Hu Lins can be sold on or taken off for cleaning. The middle seam on both the front and back represents a person's righteousness. The shape of the sleeves is similar to the Chinese instrument pipa, so it's called pipa xiu or pipa sleeves. This ao is in a style known as jiao lin you ren, or wrapping the right side before the left. It's one of the most basic features of hanfu. First, find the sash underneath the armpit area on the inside, tie it up with the sash from the right side. Then fold over the left side and secure it on the right. This completes the Aochun outfit. The weather is still chilly, so I'm adding a pifeng or outer coat for warmth. It has large broad sleeves with embroideries. These are drawings of Ming Dynasty pifeng and Song Dynasty beizi. The description indicates that pifeng is evolved from beizi. They both have facing or parallel colors. But pifeng is usually secured together with a jade buckle button right below the half collars. I want to clarify that Ming Dynasty pifeng is usually paired with a stand-up collar owl instead of a cross collar owl like what I'm wearing today. Last but not least, put on a necklace called Yin Luo to complete the look. Now we're all set. Without further ado, let's go to the Macy's Flower Show.
hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this video. If there's anything else you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. See you next time.